Academic Writing Lecture 3 Unity and Coherence Senior Teacher of the Foreign Languages Two Foreign Languages Department Normanova Shnar The objectives of the lecture are to identify unity and coherence, to study using repetition of key nouns and key noun substitutes, compare consistent pronouns, employ transition signals to distinguish logical order. The words which will be used during the lecture, keywords you, you can see here on this slide, such as coherence, transitions, signal, noun, phrase, pronouns, citation, unity, ideas, etc. So, unity is achieved when a paragraph discusses one and only one main idea from beginning to end. Unity in a paragraph means that the entire paragraph should focus on one single idea. The supporting details should explain the main idea. The concluding sentence should end the paragraph while the same idea and unified paragraph presents a thought, supports it with adequate details and completes it with a conclusion. Unity is a very important characteristic of a good paragraph writing. Paragraph unity means that one paragraph is only one main topic. That is, all the sentences, the topic, supporting sentences, the detailed sentences and sometimes the concluding sentence are all telling the reader about one main topic. If a paragraph contains a sentence or some sentences that are not related to the main topic, then we say that the paragraph lacks unity or that the sentence is off topic. So such an example as in a uh, paragraph. Several weeks later, Leonov's spacewalk was followed by the US astronaut Edward doesn't have any anything to do with the major goal of the various Russian space projects. That is, it is an off-topic sentence. So we can say that the paragraph somewhat lacks unity. In order to improve one paragraph, we should omit this sentence even though it is historically accurate. So if your paragraph is about the advantages of owning a compact car, discuss only that. Do not discuss the disadvantages. Furthermore, discuss only one advantage such as, for example, gas economy in each paragraph. If you begin to discuss another advantage, start a new paragraph. Sometimes it is possible to discuss more than one aspect of the same idea in a paragraph, if they are closely related to each other. For example, you could discuss <coughs> gas economy and low maintenance costs in the same paragraph because they are closely related, but you should not discuss it is an easier parking in the same paragraph because they are not closely related. So what is coherence in a paragraph? <coughs> coherence means establishing a relationship between the ideas presented in a paragraph. It brings about a rationale in the arrangement of the ideas which are introduced either in the chronological order or in the other order of importance. Besides, transitions that compare contrast illustrate, add or show cause and effect built with logical bridges. The ideas thus expressed in the paragraph flow smoothly from one to another in a logical sequence. This helps the reader to understand the paragraph. Coherence Coherence is the way of establishing a relationship between the ideas presented in a paragraph. An essay must have a coherence. The sentences must flow smoothly and logically from one to the next as they support the purpose of each paragraph in proving the thesis. Just as the last sentence in the paragraph must connect back to the topic sentence of the paragraph, the last paragraph of the essay should connect back to the thesis by reviewing the proof and restating the thesis. Such an example of essay with problems of unity and coherence. Here an example is of a brief, a brief essay that includes a paragraph 
that does not support the thesis. Many people are changing their diets to be healthier. People are concerned about precise steroids and antibiotics in food they eat. Many now shop for organic foods since they don't have the pesticides used in the conventionally grown food. Meat from chicken and cow that are not given steroids in antibiotics are gaining in popularity even though they are much more expensive. More and more people are eliminating pesticides, steroids and antibiotics from their diets. Eating healthier is also beneficial to the environmental since they are less pesticides poisoning the earth. Pesticides getting into the waterways is creating a problem with drinking water. Historically, safe drinking water has been a problem. There is a growing concern about genetically modified foods and people are opting for non-GMO diets. Some people say that there are more allergic reactions and other health problems resulting from these foods. Others are concerned because there are no long-term studies which clearly show no adverse health effects such as cancers or other illnesses. Avoiding GMO food is another way people are eating healthier food. So see how one, just one paragraph can take away from the effectiveness of the essay in showing how people are changing to healthier food since the unity and coherence are effective. There is no longer unity among these paragraphs. The thought pattern is disjointed and the essay loses its coherence. You see here, you have listened to the example of a paragraph which is lack of unity and coherence. So, the ideas are introduced either in the chronological order or in order of importance. What is coherence? Coherence, that is, sentences support the purpose of each paragraph in proving the thesis. Smoothly and logically constructed flow of sentences. Coherence refers to a certain characteristic or aspect of writing. And coherence is repeating key nouns frequently in your paragraph. So, what are transitions. Transitions are words, groups of words or sentences that connect one sentence to another or one paragraph to another. Transitions promote a logical flow from one idea to the next and overall unity and coherence. Transitions promote a logical flow and while transitions are not needed in every sentence or at the end of every paragraph, they are missed when they are omitted since the flow of thoughts becomes disjointed or even confusing. There are different kinds of transition. Time, such as before, after, during, in the meantime, nowadays. Space, over, around, under. Examples, for instance, one example is comparison. On the other hand, the opposing view. Consequence, as a result, subsequently. These are just a few examples. The idea is to paint a clear logical connection between sentences and between paragraphs. Coherence refers to a certain characteristic of aspect of writing. Literally, the word means to stick together. Coherence in writing means that all the ideas in a paragraph flow smoothly from one sentence to the next. With coherence, the reader has an easy time understanding the ideas which you wish to express. So it's such a paragraph. For example, my whole town is famous for several amazing natural features. First, it is noted for the Witten River, which is very wide and beautiful. On either side of this river, which is 175 feet wide, are many willow trees which have long branches and can move gracefully in the wind. In the autumn the leaves of these trees fall and cover the river banks like golden snow. Second, on the other side of the town is Witten Hill, which is unusual because it is very steep. 
Even though it is steep, climbing this hill is not dangerous, because there are some firm rocks along the sides that can be used as stairs. There are no trees around the hill, so it stands clearly against the sky and can be seen from many miles away. The third amazing feature is the big old tree. The tree stands 200 feet tall and is probably about 600 years old. These three landmarks are truly amazing and make my hometown a famous place. So, connectors. Connectors are in this paragraph are first, second, third amazing feature. You can call these words major connectors. Major connectors help organize the main part of your paragraph. This paragraph has three main parts. A part about the Witten River, the second, a part about Witten Hill, and the third, a part about the big old tree. Another way of saying this is that this paragraph has three main points, which are indicated by the major connectors. Using such major connectors is an important way of providing coherence in a paragraph. And minor connectors are here, such words as, for example, these trees, this hill. Minor connectors provide coherence to a paragraph by connecting sentences within each of the main part of your paragraph. That is, when you write about your main points, you can use minor connectors to link your details to each point. There are common signal phrase verbs include such words as assert, claim, comment, argue, confirm, contend, declare, deny, and observe, point out, report, respond, emphasize, note. Illustrate, imply, insist, say, suggest, think, write. In English grammar, a signal phrase may be a signal may be a phrase, a clause, quotative time or dialogue guide, a sentence that introduces a quotation in a paragraph. Common single phrases include the following words as argue, assert, as it has been said, suggest, think, write, illustrate, etc. A signal phrase usually names the author of the source and then provides some context for the source material. The first time you mention an author, use the full name. When you refer to the author again, you may use the last name only. A signal phrase indicates the boundary between your words and the source's words. Punctuating signal phrases. Punctuating signal phrases in a sentence is simple and straightforward. If the quotation begins the sentence, the words telling who is speaking are set off with a comma unless the quotation ends with a question mark or an exclamation point. For example, I didn't even know it was broken, I said. Did you have any questions? she asked. You mean I can't? It can do, I answered excitedly. Yes, she said. Consider this is just a warning. Notice that the most of the previous quotations begin with a capital letter, but when a quotation is interrupted by a signal phrase, the second part doesn't begin with a capital letter unless the second part is a new sentence. So transitional words, such as they may be about approximately about 200, can be considered as complete. It can be used to find the right expression. English transition words are essential since they not only connect ideas but also can introduce a certain shift, contrast or opposition, emphasis or agreement, purpose, result, conclusion, etc. The transition words and phrases have been assigned only once to somewhat artificial categories, although some words belong to more than one category. They are used, and transition words are used to link words, phrases, or sentences. 
They help the reader to progress one from one idea expressed by the author to the next and help to build up coherent relationship with the text. So, summing up the lecture, we may say that first, unity means that the paragraph discusses one main idea. Second, coherence means establishing a relation between the ideas presented in a paragraph. Three, coherence refers to a certain characteristic or aspect of writing. Four, transitions are words, groups of words or sentences that connect one sentence to another or one paragraph to another. And a signal phrase is also called a quotative frame or dialogue guide. And for revision, getting ready for this practical task lesson, you may answer this question. Unity. Do all the sentences support the topic sentence? Is there a logical order to the support? Are combining devices used to tie points or sentence together? And the sources are given here while getting to the practical lesson. You may refer to these sources.